Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the RV Unplugged Season 2 semi-finale. That's right. We made it to the Final Four. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The rig behind us that you see there, that's Matt and Mandy. That is the last of the remaining red team. Yeah. And we have to go head-to-head -head with them mm -hmm. today. We yeah. don't know what the challenges are going to be. Nope. Could be mental. It could be physical. It could be both. Both. <laughs> a combination. I'm sure it's not going to be easy for anybody. They're not going to make it easy. No. Of course not. Why would they? We haven't really... Us... There's a couple. Haven't had a lot of success in this competition yet. Nope. Sure haven't. We haven't, we haven't <laughs> sh shined. No. In any competition. Mm -mm. As a matter of fact, we haven't done really that great at all. Valid. We haven't won any individual competition. Nope. And the team competitions, we've contributed some. <laughs> but not much. <laughs> Anything nope. about it, we were last in the keys. I couldn't get up on the wakeboard. You were in the Zorb game for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. We didn't catch any bread in our mouth. I mean, that's just to name a few. We, I know we did good in the road uh, name or road numbers. That's really the only thing that I, I know think we did, that good we did that. pretty good at. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's the, that was our, and, and I was worried about it, but it was one of our strongest things. So, yeah. Um, we're not, we're not thinking about the finale. No, can't we're think We're thinking that about ahead. today. We have to get through today. Yes. So our sights are set on Matt and Mandy. Yes. And I, I don't want to have to think that way today. Probably the sweetest people I've ever met. <laughs> yeah, but you have to. Yeah. It's competition. We came here to win. That's what we're going to try to do. Yeah. We're playing Hurt. Um... My groin is still really sore from the Zorb yeah. thing. My foot is still hurt. Uh, matter of fact, the reason we're sitting this morning is because I am icing my foot yep. currently. Mm -hmm. um, I've been battling a cold yep. for the almost the entire competition, which is now almost completely gone, which is good because leading up into the semifinale and the finale, it's good that my cold is finally gone. But we haven't really, and we haven't mentioned any of that, and yeah. it, it has played a little bit of a, a factor, mm -hmm. but we've tried to make it not obvious that we were injured because yeah. there was voting situations and we didn't want to look weak. I thought my thigh was okay now yeah. since the Zorb hit, but getting up off the ground quickly when we were assembling the grill yeah. yesterday shot a pain through because I used that leg to get yeah. up. So I know it's not. I was the same way yesterday because... I thought that my groin was fine, mm -hmm. and then when I dove for a piece of bread yesterday, I was like, oh, it's not, yeah. it's not healed. Yeah, it was a quick reminder. And then you don't have time to take it easy. Nope. You don't have time to rest, mm -mm. you know, and you don't want to, you want to stretch a little bit, but not overstretch. So yeah. it's a fine line, you don't, and you don't want to push too hard, because then if you completely hurt yourself you're you'll take yourself out yeah you'll self-eliminate yourself Can't so have that. yeah we're pushing it as hard as we can without hurting ourselves and taking yeah. ourselves out physically so um it's going to be an interesting day mm -hmm. you know you i would hope you, you don't know what you're rooting for you don't know whether <laughs> you're rooting for no. a physical challenge or a mental challenge or a technical challenge because i, I don't really want to do physical stuff because we're hurt yeah but I want to do physical stuff because I think we have an advantage if we do physical stuff. But I don't want to do technical stuff because I think they're at an advantage, you know. But I do want to do technical stuff because I don't want to use my muscles because we're hurt. Yeah. It's a uh, catch-22. It is. And I got some Motrin over here getting ready to eat that after I just ate my <laughs> breakfast. We got our coffee and we're going. And uh, so we're going to head out. We're going to say goodbye to Joe and Rachel and Kevin and Tabitha. Yeah. And then we're going to get this party started and we'll come back and let you know how it all plays out. What is it you like to say? Let's light this candle. Let's light this candle, baby. <laughs> Woo! As the great Ric Flair once said. Woo! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> also wanted to give you a little scout update. Let you know how Scout's doing. Scout's loving the RV Unplugged experience. Mm -hmm. He got to meet a bunch of cool people. Yes. Everybody got to meet Scout. He's been outside hanging out on the warm days and 
inside on the cold days. It's yep. cold today, so he won't be out today. But uh, in a couple of days, it's going to be on finale day. It's going to be warm. Yeah. So if we're not engaged in that all day long, then Scout will be out hanging out. He's our good luck charm. He is, man. I'm glad mm -hmm. we brought him. And he's doing really well. I mean, he's just been hanging yeah. out. And um, the crew has also been very, you know, good with us, allowing us to come back, turn like on the when, furnace if we need to. Yeah, when or, challenges have been taking way longer than we expected, Yeah, we can run back, turn the heat on. Unless we were off-site. We were off-site the other night at the racetrack. Yeah, he had to deal and, with that. Because we got the racetrack at noon. Yeah. And we thought we'd be back in time, so the windows were open. But luckily, that was get not a very cold night. Too too cold, so we yeah. got back and he was fine. So he's been doing really good. Yeah, and uh, eating worms every few days. Yep, and he doesn't take up any water mm. or resources. It's a normal normal days for him. He doesn't know anything different, really. Yeah, probably. So he's doing good. How you doing, buddy? Not looking at you. Go team wags. Go team wags. Yay. <laughs> well, we started off the day by saying goodbye to Joe and Rachel and yep. Kevin and Tabitha and sent them off and then we started the final four round. Yeah. We didn't know what we were getting into. But today, somebody came around while we were waiting for instructions and took away both teams' cornhole boards. And I was like... You got really excited. Yes. Because you're like, why would they just take them? Yes, they're taking the cornhole boards. Yeah. Yeah. You've been saying the whole time we're here, you yeah. hope they involve this in the game. I've been hoping. And and if they did, hoping we're still in the game when they do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would really because make you mad. in case you didn't know, <sighs> I have a God-given redneck ingrained talent for cornhole. You do, I don't. I was born with it, mm, and I I've not. just always naturally been pretty good at cornhole. You have been. It did come natural to you. And uh, so I was like, thank God, if that's it. Or they yeah. just taking these boards for something else. Yeah. But I was right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We get over there, and it's cornhole. So the, the downfall to this day was excessive wins. What do you mean? Oh, winds. Like winds. the wind blowing. The winds. I thought you said yeah. winds. I'm like, no. No, there's oh. only one wind. <laughs> no, the wind, the wind was ridiculous. The wind today. was kicking. So I'm like, well, this is going to level the playing field a little bit. <sighs> yeah. Because the wind was blowing so hard that I didn't know if I could get my. Get enough. Get my, di my distance. I, yeah. I don't know if I could. Because, and it wasn't a consistent. If it was consistent wind in one direction, then I can get my. I can get my gauge, yeah. but it would blow hard and stop, it's and then it would be a little bit, and then it would, and, it's been a massive and so gust. you're like, you don't know, it could gust when the bag is in the air. The first part of that was we had to go up against our teammates, our teammates Matt and Mandy, mm -hmm. and the blue team faced off against each other, and then the winner of each one of those matches would play each other, yeah. and the winner would get a two minute advantage in the next challenge. In the next challenge. Which we don't know. Which means nothing at the moment. Cause we yeah, we don't even it. know what it is. So, but I'm like, I want a two minute advantage. Yeah. If there's any chance of having an advantage, you want it. Yeah. So, it was so, a tough game. And Shelby is very good at cornhole. She is good. And not only did we want to get the two minute advantage, at least over Matt and Mandy, but we wanted to make sure that if Jack and Shelby won on their side, we beat them so that they didn't get a two minute advantage over yeah, Talmadge and Shanti. didn't want anybody on blue team having a leg up on the next yeah, round. Yeah, I wanted them to be equal. Yeah. You know, if anything, I wanted Talmadge and Shanti to, to be, <laughs> beat them so they yeah. had a little bit of an advantage. But um, Jack and Shelby won their match. Yes, they did. So I'm like, oh, man. Then my nerves really said it. I'm not naturally good at it. I'm not even just good at it. <laughs> you did good. I did all right. Maybe you put, you put I think one or two in the hole. Yeah. Put a few on. I'm, so we we took Matt and Mandy down. Yeah. Pretty decisively. It started slow. It started very competitive until I yes. got I got my feel. You, you got a feel for what strength to throw and, and yeah. the height. And yeah. so we started out, you know, one to one, two to three, four, you know, right at that five to six area. Yeah. And then once I found my groove, we just kind of took away. Yeah. Uh, and, it was a good match. And then took them out. And then, uh, of course, Jack and 
Shelby took out Talmadge and Ashanti. Yep. So I'm like, we have to win now. Worst nightmare came and true. Shelby's better than Jack. She's a lot better than Jack. No offense, and, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to play on the side with the strongest player so I could cancel out what she's doing. Dude. At least cancel out what she's doing. Yeah. And Jack's good, too. Yeah. Yeah, he was better than he let on. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I don't hardly play that much. And everyone's going to play really on Father's one. Day. And I'm yeah. like... Okay. But we'll they have see. a set in their yard and they play a lot. Yeah. So I'm like, how can you not be good? So we went up against them and um, uh, it, it was close right at the very, very beginning. Yeah. And then they sunk started a few to and started to pull away. And I was like, this is where the wheels fall off. We were off. down by five yeah. at one time. We had that seven point round, swung the swung it back to a two point lead for us. And I think, uh, I think Shelby got flustered. She was getting a little flustered. And I knew that if I could get her flustered. <laughs> Shelby does not like to lose. Yeah. at anything and, so, you, and she doesn't hide it well no so when you see that you're getting under her skin and every round she was a little bit off she might put one on but then she wasn't really nailing them like she was but yeah and i was putting i was putting I was like, one you just in gotta keep the heat i was like man if you could just keep the heat on her she will crumble yeah and it was so we got within uh we got within two points of winning during my round and i had one bag left and i yeah. i knew if i sunk it it was game over, over. and i dropped it Right in. Yeah. Boom. Took them out. So we got the two minute advantage. Yeah. We still don't know what that is yet. Nope. But we're getting ready to find out. Nervous? Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Nothing to it but to do it now. Uh huh. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what, what went through my head. Holy shit. We're in the finale. I can't believe it. I still don't believe it. I can't believe it. I mean, if it weren't for the advantage, we would not have made it. I can't believe that part of it, for sure. I can't believe that our two-minute advantage in the cornhole game came into play. Yeah. It was less than two minutes between our times. Time. And if we would not have won the cornhole game... Yeah. We would have lost. Yeah. Mm. Here was our downfall during the competition. So the competition, you've already seen it, was the camp set up on one yes. side of the barrier mm -hmm. and to set up the exact replicated. replicated setup on the other side, but you have to communicate <laughs> it over. And man, I'm telling you, as soon as they said that that was what the challenge was, I was like, we're done. We are leaving tomorrow. You've already seen in this competition the way that my brain comprehends and translates information. Yes. And I don't always get the same understanding of the rules that everybody else gets. My brain doesn't no. process it the same way. Yeah. And it's caused problems. Yeah. Before. And I'm trying like, to read you something. I don't understand how you don't do understand it. what I'm saying. Yeah. And you get so frustrated, and I'm like, I can't believe you're just not understanding the yeah. words coming out of my mouth. So when we went in, we saw the competition. In my mind, I was I was talking to myself internally, and I was like, look, just be cool. Don't get flustered. Don't get frustrated. If you lose, there's no shame in that. No. And we're just going to do the best that we can. Yeah. And if I say something and we don't understand each other, we'll try to say it a different way. Where's that leg? That leg that's back toward me. In relation to the back of the How, mat. All right, let me so say it a different way. How close are the legs to the mat? We took the strategy of, so when we first started, we both faced the same direction. And I said, yeah. this is the direction that we're talking about. If we're both facing this way, if I say right, this is right, left, if this left. So if I say left, face yourself this way, and that's what I'm talking yeah. about. And then we use the clock. The clock yeah. method. Like, okay, Point here's the plate. Where's the sport? 12. Facing 12, six, 3, 1, nine. 2. Listen to me. Opening of the lid should be at 5 o'clock. No. That's to my right. Okay, I see what you're saying now. So, yeah, it'd be about 5. Okay, Jesus. Don't bring Jesus in this. Yeah, but when, during the instructions of the game, when they said attention to detail, you know, again, my brain processes things differently. And also being military, yeah. Attention, attention to detail means very important. means down to the down yeah. to it, man. <laughs> yeah, and every little so detail. So I overanalyzed yeah. some of the things. So especially when I messed up the chain on the cooker 
on the tripod. Yeah. He said the chain's wrong. Mm-hmm. And then that I saw mean many things. it was hooked wrong on the top. I knew that because I it was need to be run up and back through. So I fixed that. And then I thought that where I thought that where those specific and three that's probably where that time came into play. Where I I thought because they said attention to detail. I thought that we were counting great the ring in yeah to hook it in the right spots according to and. And I don't even think that center line mattered. Maybe it didn't matter. Uh, but but when me, you say it you has say to exactly. look identical to what's out there, that's I'm going to make I'm it look doing. identical. Yeah, and that's exactly what I interpreted in my mind. Yeah. So So you got hung up on the tent a little bit. Yeah. That cost us a little time. And I will tell you that the instructions that they give you with those were not the best. No. No, they were not the best. Was it mostly pictures? It was all pictures. Okay, so no yeah. words. Yeah. So yeah, that worried me. The tail was anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And then I totally forgot to tell you to put that one cup upside down. That was an easy fix. And then the lid was on this side and needed to come on the other side of the cup. So, but we we figured that out. Yeah. And uh, but you know, either way, we came back to the RV uh, very proud of ourselves. Yeah. And how we took on that challenge. Yeah. It was probably the calmest. Yeah. So directionals. When we came back and sat other. down, I said, look. I am so proud of the way we did that yeah. challenge. And if we lose it's on fine. that, then totally I'm totally fine. fine with it. And we prepared. were fully expecting to lose. Yes. Because I know Matt and Mandy are really good. Very good attention to detail. They were they are always very good communicators. Cares. Yes. I've never seen them raise their voice to each other or get frustrated or flustered. Yeah. And so I was like, they probably did really, really did well. well. Yeah. Yeah. And on the blue side... I was fully expecting Jack and Shelby to take that. Absolutely. And I knew that if we somehow were able to pull this off, I knew that we'd be we going did. against them in the finale. Yep. And that's the case. And we are. And so, but hey, um, you know, we would have rather gone against Talmadge and Ashanti because yes. we thought we had a better shot. But look, uh, at least we know now that if we beat Jack and Shelby, we earned it. Yeah. Uh, we beat the best. Because they've dominated this whole time. You gotta, you, you got to beat the best to get yeah. that $25,000. And we by far surpassed where we thought we'd go in this competition oh, anyway absolutely so i never it's just saw it. bonus and when we did our interviews and the podcast and all that stuff of course we're saying when we win this when, day, we're gonna yeah. win but when we win we're gonna you know all yeah this stuff. it's just what you gotta do to but talk you know about. in the back of your mind there's always the okay there's 10 teams we're probably not gonna win yeah you know and we're probably not gonna even make it to the finale if you're being completely honest with yourself yeah you're probably not gonna make it statistically your chances yeah. are not high there's an 80 percent chance that you're not gonna make it to the finals yeah there's a 90 percent chance that you're gonna lose <laughs> sometime yeah and now there's a 50 percent chance that we're gonna win yeah so we got a shot because we don't know what the challenges are but they are a force um it's not going to be easy. No, it's not. But we're going to give it hell. Yeah. I mean, I'm proud. Just. I am too. I'm but so happy. Today it was fine. I'm so happy that we made it. <laughs> and thank you all for your support and cheering us on through the whole yeah. season. And go Team Wags. All that encouragement is just great. We love seeing that. And um, mm-hmm. we keep saying it. <laughs> we're here for another time. One so more. after the finale, we'll be back one more time, time. to talk about our perspective and how it all went down so if you want to see that hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that Mm -hmm. and stick around for a few more seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero if you want to get involved with helping us help vets while we're out on the road everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video appreciate you watching Mm -hmm. and we'll see you next time Bye. bye